bone broth. You know, we talked about skin health. Bone broth has the natural amino acids that produce collagen, right? It's coming from the joint structure and the bones themselves. Very rich in glycine. Glycine is a critical amino acid that's needed for, um, you know, basically for liver detoxification. Very, very important for liver detoxification as well as healthy joints, healthy nails, um, healthy gut lining. Glycine is really critical for that. Also very rich in chondroitin and hyaluronic acid and glucosamine. One of the most, one of the most highly sold or sought after supplements on the market is a joint supplement called glucosamine chondroitin. You may have heard of that. You could find it pretty much at any drugstore, any supermarket. You'll find like a whole row and they'll have a whole bunch of glucosamine and chondroitin because so many people are dealing with arthritis, degenerative joints, and that's been really highly marketed for, and, and it's had a lot of good results with people having improvements in joint health. Well, your natural, the way you naturally get it from the food that you're consuming is consuming bone broth and the collagenous regions of meat. Like if you're eating a chicken wing or a turkey leg, the healthiest part is actually the joint structure itself, right? Our ancestors used to bite the, the kind of cartilaginous joint and consume that. And if you just get, you know, an animal, like if you, if you consume, you know, for, if you go to a butcher, a lot of times they're cutting up the tendons, the ligaments, and they're removing them because they're not as appetizing and they they take longer to chew. So for a lot of people, they're like, oh, this just tastes grisly, right? When they're consuming it. But actually that's where the collagen is. That's where the glucosamine, the hyaluronic acid, all these compounds that are so critical for joints, that's where they're located right, is in the joint structure, in the tendons. So obviously you can consume them if you're consuming like a whole animal, like nose to tail eating. But on top of that, you're gonna get them if you cook up, you can actually boil down the bones and the joints, soften them up, and now you know you have a bone broth or you can make bone broth stew or bone broth soup, and you're getting a lot of those compounds in your system. Also great for the immune system as well. <music>